Shame on you! 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 Thank you, thank you. Give us a hand, I'm Andy and Chaba, uh, please. I want to make it up for that. I want to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Black Lands, Tonde. What are Tonde? Tonish, and I'm going to say, Here you go. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Hey, friends. My name is Tonde. I'm with the Black Alliance for Peace. This is beautiful to see. I love to see these expressions of Pan-Africanism, of, of Africans coming together to show solidarity and support each other. We in the Black Alliance for Peace stand in uncompromising opposition to the U.S.-led imperialist aggression against Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Somalia and the broader horn. We understand that U.S. intervention, U.S. Uh, interference in African affairs is, is never a positive development. We understand that you know, it, it, when the U.S. Interfered, interfered in Libya, when they uh, interfered in Afghanistan and in, uh, in Iraq, that, that really just destabilized those countries. Um, and, and we understand as well that the relative instability in Ethiopia can only be sustained through U.S. support, right? The empty rhetoric from Anthony Blinken, uh, who's the U.S. Secretary of State, is part of the propaganda aspect of the hybrid war that's waged against Ethiopia today. It's important that we see the sanctions, the media disinformation, and arrogant ultimatums by U.S. imperialism for what they are. It, those are the desperate machinations of a global power in crisis. Western imperialism is being confronted by people-centered expressions of resistance in Africa and globally. There's the No More movement. There's, uh, you know, the uprisings in Ivory Coast in Burkina Faso, in Niger, against Western imperialism, uh, just in the past couple of weeks, that speak to uh, you know this growing element of resistance against the status quo. This this just you know trying to prevent uh, Africa from rising up, from uniting. And I think this is important. And expressions of solidarity from around the world are standing up for the Horn of Africa, including what we're doing today. So while the Black Lives for Peace is committed to peace, we understand that there can be no peace without justice, uh, and we'll stand in solidarity with all people and nations who strive to liberate themselves from all forms of neocolonial oppression. That takes a resolute anti-colonial, anti-imperialist position that links the international role of the U.S. empire to the domestic war waged against poor people and working class black people within the United States. We unequivocally support and uplift mutual cooperation, solidarity, and peace amongst all parties and peoples in Ethiopia, Eritrea, and the broader Horn of Africa region. We support African-led, localized conflict resolution that's not tied to advancing imperialism, neocolonialism, or any other nefarious Western agendas. So, um, you know, no more, uh, no more CNN lies, no more Western intervention, you know, no more neocolonialism. You know, peace in the Horn of Africa. Down with the TPLO. Hey. <laughs> 
سحري حزب اريتا اسم رقم سعيرا سعري سعري Sahari, 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 sahari